Uber Elevate is designing a future product called Uber Air, which is going to incorporate uh, flying vehicles into the Uber platform. And so what we've done is develop a set of specifications for these vehicles. Like, what do they need to look like? What are they, how fast do they need to go? How many people should they carry? Um, like, what are the basic specifications? And like, how do we make them you know, safe and cost-effective to operate? And since we worked with, with Hyundai, to incorporate some of those ideas into this concept that we see behind us, which Hyundai is calling the SA1, which is a, a basically a vehicle that can work in this Uber Air network that we are setting up and, and, and building out. What we're planning to do this year is work with our partners to do public demonstrations. And so we want people to be able to see this, to understand what this technology looks like in real life. But then the, what we're trying to do is by 2023, that's really the, the date that we're pushing hard on for the commercial launch. That needs, that needs the certification is the, probably the long pole in the tent in order to be able to hit that, that timeline. But we're pretty optimistic that this is ambitious for sure, but achievable. The real challenge I think is that you have to work on all these problems at the same time. Aviation is a very highly regulated industry. It's regulated at the national level, but the type of things that we want to do to be able to take off and land from skyports like woven into communities is actually regulated at a local level too. So we have to engage at the national level and then at the local level and each of the places in which we're working. That's just a lot of work that has to be done. It has to be done simultaneously and any one of those pieces not working can kind of grind the whole thing to a halt. What we need to do is build a suite of products that allow people to exercise like the choice of how they want to move. Everyone has a different kind of personal elasticity to time, to price, to uh, the, the mode of transportation. And we think that the best option is to create a whole suite of products um, that we can offer to people that they can use in different ways that they want to use. And so that's why we're made Uber Transit. We just announced that the public transit here in Las Vegas can now be booked through Uber and paid for through Uber. And so we think that's the right, the right approach is to do a bunch of these things and create this platform that then we can both add transportation technologies into, but then we can start to link them together. And that's a new level of magic in some sense. And that's what we're doing through Uber Copter right now in New York City. That's our first truly multimodal product but we're uh, pioneering the linking of ground to air to ground in a single trip. And so you have a single button press and we take care of it with the technology behind the scenes. And that's just the starting of what this kind of multimodal type of operations look like.